I'm going to do a mechanism which draws the virtual parabola of Kramer, uh, figure 283 um, on the book. Uh, no uh, gears on this one, uh, just a straightforward uh, little mechanism. Uh, so working in GX web, uh, we first need a line uh, parallel to the y-axis, distance away from it. So we'll use a parallel distance, the most convenient way of doing that. Distance constraint, make that A. Uh, we're now going to have um, a slider. Uh, right angled um, uh, situation there. And um, we're going to have a line which comes from A through C and out beyond it. Um, now, there's sliders and so forth so that um, this length from B to C is not constrained. Um, but we need to see the Y on AB. Go to that using an incidence constraint. And we need, uh, let's bring it down a bit. And we need this angle here to be right angled. And we need this line AD to be perpendicular here. Now the length of AB is going to be twice the distance A, so put that in, and that's two times A. And then on top of that, we're going to uh, be able to have another um, uh, link DE, which is also length A. And we're going to have it set up so that this um, angle ECB is uh, perpendicular. And so now, uh, given that, as we move A up and down, our point E traces the curve. Uh, so let's just put a parametric location on A, make that on A, make that parametric location T on that line, and we can now trace the point E. has T values. And there's our curve. Uh, we can make it a little bit bigger if we like T vary. It's currently going from minus 2.6. So let's maybe go from say minus six. Um go and go for it. Let's change that to maybe minus 10. Around like that. In fact, let's go from minus 10 to 10, but make it go the opposite direction too. I'm assuming we're getting, we're getting this interesting behavior of the second half of a curve there. Um, let's just watch it then. Uh, well, as with a lot of these things, we're going to get another curve if we uh, take D and create a second uh, line coming out in distance A, second link. And we would like that to lie on EC extended. In other words, it's, it's the flip of this mechanism. Is in an inversion of the mechanism in some way. Um, so we'll put an incidence constraint there. And we can trace F as well. And there we see we're getting a sort of complementary curve that fills out um, the entire thing. Let's see what the curve's uh, equation is. So we'll do the equation first of this curve, this part of it. And we'll do the equation of the second part. 
we're not going to be um, going to expect to see the same thing. Um, all right. Put them in there. K1. And uh, my expectations are uh, fulfilled there. I am seeing the same curve for both halves. Um, we can now um, animate it over to 